device that I will be testing is the Samsung SSD 870 EVO. This one is one terabyte. This SSD is one terabyte, but I think it is 80% filled. And that's why it is taking a little bit of time to show up inside the file application. And I also used to run Mac OS on this external SSD. This means that the Apple iPhone 15 Pro is able to see through the APFS format. This SSD has an APFS format. The Samsung 870 EVO is a very fast SSD and this is why I can have this video playing and scrub through the video without any lag. If you want to record videos directly on your external SSD, this SSD is one of the good ones. I let the device play this video for at least 10 minutes and I can feel that the phone on the back is a little bit warm, a little bit hot. Fortunately, the device never reached a temperature that stopped everything. Next, I have another Samsung SSD. This one is a Pro Drive. This one does not have USB-C, but it has USB 3.0. You will absolutely need to have one of these USB-C to USB-A dongle with you. Here also, everything is working correctly, but I suspect that the speed is going to be a little bit slower than connecting directly with USB-C. 